presidency to light people's days out. I, president Obama once said that um, you realize as president that when you meet a person, it's often one of the highlights of their lives. And what you think of it as a casual interaction, for them, is anything but. And I, I, I think in moments like this, you see as President Trump, as you say, comes into his own with this, there's that recognition. I mean, these, these people light up, whether you're a Trump fan or not, I mean, the opportunity to shake hands with the first lady, the president, the vice president, I mean, it's, a, it's a special it's a special time and a special moment. No, it's an absolutely good point, especially if you think about what these folks have been through in the last several days, what they have endured, what they still have to go through, because it's important to point out the relief efforts are far from over, right? FEMA has already approved over $20 million for the relief efforts there, and by the scale and the scope of the devastation, this is something that's going to be going on for a very, very long time. So to your point, this has to be something that gives them hope, that gives them something different in the day, like people taking selfies as they line up to get food there with the president. Um, but, you know, back to the president's uh, sort of approach to all this moving forward. Now, this is something that he's going to have to continue to stay on top of in yeah. the weeks and months ahead as well. And, uh, you know, in judging the federal response, there's the immediate response of people on the ground actually providing immediate relief. But this is going to be a years-long rebuilding uh, process in, Ir uh, in Irma's wake as well as Harvey's wake, particularly Harvey. And I think the, 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 the long-term judgment on that takes a while to play out. Mm -hmm. And we still have a president that's got an understaffed administration. Uh, he doesn't have a FEMA director. There's, there's all kinds of vacancies at housing and urban development, which has a big role in, in getting people housed after a storm. So th this will be a, a very long process. The pictures will fade, and these people will still be dealing with the, the disrupted lives. And there, of course, you see some of the reporters 